Okay, so now we're going to learn the points. Here are the acupuncture points you're going to use for EFT tapping. Now, like I said, there were nine points for the shortcut round and a total of 14 points for the long round. So first we'll go over the shortcut round. Now for both rounds, we're going to use the karate chop. So here's your hand. All right, so the side, the fleshy side of your hand, right there where you would karate chop, you're gonna use two fingers of the other hand to tap on that. So that's your first point. Then we have a couple of points around the eye. Okay, here's your eye. Your eyebrow. Your nose. <laughs> and your mouth. And your, your chin. So, uh, the points around the face are right where the eyebrow starts. It's called the eyebrow point. On the side of the eye, on the bone right there, it's called the side of the eye. This, of course, is karate chop. Karate chop. Um, under the eye, on the bone. It's under eye. It's another point. Under the nose, right in between the nose and the mouth, right in the middle there. It's just referred to as under nose. Also, the chin is right on the indentation between your bottom lip and the bottom of your chin. So right in the middle there, we just call that the chin. Now, there's two others on the body here. I'm going to pretend this is your neck and shoulders. All right. So, where a man adjusts his tie, you'll feel like a U-shaped bone there. And then on each side are two bones going. Those are your sh uh, collarbones. The indentation right here in the middle, that's called your collarbone point. Okay? The underarm point here, underarm, is about four inches down from your armpit, and you'll feel like a rib there on the side, the side of your body, underarm. Now, it doesn't matter which side of the body you use or which hand you use to tap, because you do have two eyebrow points and two side of eye points, etc., it's like there's two collarbone points, but we just usually use one hand and go along one side, tapping a full round on all these in order. After the underarm, I usually do one on top of the head. So if this is the head, right in the middle, on top of your head, it's called the crown. So I do a few little taps off the top, sort of to end the round. So you start on the karate chop with the setup statement. And then you go to the eyebrow point, tap, 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 tap with the reminder phrase. Under arm, under nose, tap three to five times with your fingers on each one. And then a couple on the crown, and then you're done as far as the short cut round goes. Now we're going to look at the points for the long round, which is a little different. So we have the long round. Now, in general, the long round is you tap on the shortcut. Then you do the gamut procedure on another point that you just rub while you do some brain exercises. And there's nine easy steps in all. It just takes another minute. And then you tap another shortcut round. Okay, so all these three together are called the long round. You set it up on the karate chop point, just like with the shortcut. You tap on all the points, then you stop and do this gamut procedure, and then you go tap on all the points again, and you're done with the long round. Now let's talk about this gamut spot and the nine things you have to do for that. All right, so... This is your hand. Here's your knuckles. Okay. Now, the two knuckles on your ring finger, wait a minute, your middle finger and your ring finger, middle, 
ring. This is your little finger. Um, oh wait, I messed this up because you not only tap on the shortcut, you also tap on your hand points. Then you do the gamut. Okay, then you tap the shortcut nine taps plus the hand points. Okay, I'm messing it up a little bit, but here's the hand points. Um, here's your first finger. Here's your thumb. Here's your, like, nails. So after you tap these, the shortcut round, you end on the, like, by the time you're done, you're tapping on under the arm. You could do the head, but you're still under the arm. Tap on the thumb, which is where the nail meets the skin on the side of your thumb. That's just called the thumb point. Then you tap on your first finger. Then you tap on your middle finger. Some people skip the middle finger because when you do the gamut spot, which is right here, you're actually doing the same meridian, so you could skip it. One, two, three, four, four. What am I missing here? Middle. Oh, yeah, ring finger. Now, you do tap on the middle finger. It's the ring finger that you skip because of this gamut point. And then the little finger. So after... The underarm, you go to thumb, tap, 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 reminder phrase, first finger, middle finger. You could skip the ring, or to make it easy, just tap it anyway. It's not going to hurt it or anything. Tap the little finger, then stop, and then rub this gamut spot. Now, the gamut spot is the top of an imaginary triangle, equal on all sides, and the base of the triangle, your two knuckles. Uh, actually, it's the knuckle. Why do I keep messing this up? It's the knuckles of the little finger and the ring finger, not the middle finger at all. Okay. But if those two knuckles form the bottom, then the top of the triangle is the gamut spot. Now, while you're rubbing the gamut, you just literally rub it while you do the gamut procedure. And the gamut procedure is first you uh, close your eyes for a second, then you open them. Then you look hard down to the right. Down and to the right. Then you look hard down and to the left. Then you uh, roll your eyes around a clockwise. So look up to the ceiling at like 12 o'clock and make a big circle with your eyes. Then the next one is do the same thing, but just do it counterclockwise. Then you want to hum a few bars of a song. Just We usually use Happy Birthday because it's just so easy to remember. <laughs> and then you count out loud one to five. One, two, three, four, five. And then the ninth is do that little humming again. This gets your left and right brain activated through music and math. So <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> When you're done with that, you go back up to the eyebrow point and tap another round. When you get to the underarm, you go back to the hands again, tap, 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 tap. When you're done off the pinky, go on top of the head of the crown to like end off the round. And that is how to do a long round. We're going to put this all together and do it together, so don't worry about memorizing it. I just wanted to give you the basic idea the shortcut, okay, nine points. You could do two or three shortcuts all in a row, really easy. And then the long round, where we're going to do the nine points plus the hand, then the gamut procedure, then another nine points plus the hand, end off at the crown. That's your long round. At the end of either round, you're going to re-rate your suds to see what number it is after doing all this tapping. Now what I usually do is one full long round on a problem and then one to two more shortcut rounds and to really get it be really thorough and then see what the suds is. It usually goes down a lot lower if I spend the time doing first a long round then a few little shortcuts because there's always a little remaining uh, stress, especially when you first start doing this. When you've been doing this every day for a long time, you can do them rather quickly and just do one long round a day and the rest 
shortcuts. Whenever you're stressed, just do a quick little shortcut.